So Bernie Sanders tweeted a graphic last night, and he said this. There's not a single state where working 40 hours a week at the minimum wage is enough to afford a one-bedroom apartment. That's an outrage. And look at this uh, chart that he put up there. This says 2015 hours at minimum wage needed to afford rent, and it shows you in each individual state uh, exactly what it would be. So just to give a few examples here. In Nebraska, 54 hours a week. Kansas, 62. New York, 98. California, 92. Georgia, 72. Florida, 77. Um, Indi uh, excuse me, Idaho, 59. Nevada, 71. Look at this, man. I mean, this is in Hawaii. They say 125. Jesus. So... Think about that. Like, reflect on that point he's making. Bernie Sanders is saying, and he's right, that not a, there's not a single state in the United States where if you work 40 hours a week, so you work full-time at minimum wage, is it enough to afford a one-bedroom apartment? I mean, that's just morally indefensible. <laughs> he calls it an outrage. I think it's beyond an outrage. It's morally indefensible. If you have a system set up where people work full-time, they work full-time, so not parasites, not moochers, not lazy, not any of the negative things and stereotypes you could throw at them, but they don't make enough money to survive. Work full-time, don't make enough money to survive, even in a one-bedroom apartment. They ain't a problem with the individual. That's a problem with the system. And we know what the answer is. The answer is you do a living wage. You make the minimum wage a living wage. That's it. That's the answer. And, of course, we haven't done that. And, I mean, people wonder, like, you know, why is it that, uh, you know, Congress has an approval rating of 9%. 9%? That's unbelievably low. Well, this is why. Because there are real people with real problems in the real world, and their elected representatives who are supposed to represent them ain't doing it. They go to Washington and they start taking the donor money and they start doing favors for their buddies and they become part of that rich elitist establishment bubble and they lose total connection with the, the people if they ever had a connection with them to begin with. Well, that's got to stop and that's got to change. And the Democrats want to know how to win again? I mean, they got their clocks cleaned recently. They want You want to know how to win again? Very simple. Start fighting for the right thing. Start fighting for the people. I mean, if you did a na if the Democrats decided to do a national campaign right now and get all the Democrats on the same page, get all their talking points down, of course the talking points should be factual, but you go out there and you hammer away on this one issue. We want to force President Trump to sign a bill that makes the minimum wage a living wage and ties it to inflation. And we're going to do that because the system we have right now is immoral. You have to work 69 hours a week to, to afford a one-bedroom apartment in Louisiana, just to give one example. But if they went and hammered this message home. Not only could you maybe win in terms of legislation, but you could also, if, if you don't get the legislation you want, you just effectively hammered the Republicans for an extended period of time on an issue where they're unquestionably dead wrong and where they're bad people to stand in the way of this, and you just made it so the Democrats will likely sweep in the next election. But again, the Democrats, they don't have a vision. And they really don't care about the people. They're also corporatist establishment sellouts, so they're lost in the wilderness. Well, Bernie's showing you the way, and he's showing you the way right now. Fight for the people. Fight for what's right. Fight for the minimum wage being a living wage. If you do that, you help the people, and you make it so you win. But they're also sold out to corporate donors, so they can't do it, and they won't do it. Well, that's why, that that's on us. You know, we're the, we're the you know... Social democratic revolution. That's what we are, and we need to stand up, and we need to fight for it, and we need to have our voices heard. And remember, if you argue for those positions, you will win. Because you have the overwhelming majority of the American people behind you. You have virtually all millennials behind you, <laughs> but the overwhelming majority of the American people. So it goes beyond just millennials, it goes beyond just independents. You get even Republicans go, you know, I think they're fighting for me. If you, if you talk about stuff like that. So... Bernie Sanders is 100% right. That is an outrage. It's amazing. How do we live? We still, it's fucking 2016, about to be 2017. We still live in a system where you work full time and you don't make enough money to survive if you make minimum wage.
I mean, that is almost an argument against the entire the everything about the system. Like that's an argument to scrap it and start over and build something from the ground up. That's how unbelievable and grotesque a fact that is.